and you want to talk about DC residents, they are victims of your abuse of power. And because of that, I am introducing articles of impeachment on you, Mr. Gray. Why, why are we wasting this committee's time, the United States Oversight Committee's time, for the second time, on just Washington, D.C.? I know you got stuff going on. You're trying to find, you know, the fake informant that you've now has gone missing. I know you're busy with that. All right, now that's funny. And in case you missed it, by the way, this is what was on the board behind him. Fake informant that you've now has gone missing. I know you're busy with that. You know, but I'm hoping that perhaps the Oversight Committee, if they're so worried about, you know, federal overreach, perhaps they can start, you know, being focused on real government oversight. Now I know, it seems like it's a weekly occurrence that I'm singing the praises of Florida Democrat Jared Moskowitz. But today he earned every minute of that praise as he was forced to sit through yet another hearing on DC. This one following the ever pressing issue of public urination that was held last month. And uh, these charges, these changes, are now law here in DC, correct? Do you mean the revised criminal code? Yes. Uh, no, those are not the law. Those are not the law. Did, with you, the, you the revised, revised you, you criminal code them. was uh, rejected by... Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, I talked to Mr. Allen. Yes, Mr. Allen, did you or did you not decriminalize public urination in no, Washington, D.C.? Did, did you lead the charge to do so? No, it, the revised criminal code left that as a criminal charge. Did you lead the charge to decriminalize public urination in Washington, D.C.? No, ma'am. Did the you ever vote in favor of decriminalizing public urination in Washington, D.C. The revised criminal code that was did passed you by the ever council support kept it as a criminal offense. Did you, did, and you support this criminal? I voted for it, yeah. You voted to keep it as a criminal offense. That's correct, the full council. The topic of this one ventured into the realm of running into 100 senators and that being an advantage, I think. Inhabit in that city and bum, is there any other city in a country where you're gonna just bump into potentially hundreds of congressmen and a hundred senators at any given restaurant or grocery store. Is there any municipality in the country that offers that level of personal access to the seat of government of these United States? Congressman, I've already explained um, that I'm born and raised here and I've spent most of my life here. I've been serving in elective office when for you were 15 growing up, years. Did you bump let me into just let me just officials? finish, Congressman. I'm reclaiming I my have time, never been to an event where I happen to bump into a hundred senators. You've lived here. <laughs> I wanna remind well, the crowd that clapping is a disruption. So uh, Chair recognizes Mr. Higgins for five minutes on not having bumped into 100 senators at one time. That would be horrific. <laughs> but in the, in the course of your life... Anyway, after being forced to listen to that, when it was Moskowitz's time, he used every second to state what both his constituents and the majority of America want their elected officials to spend their time discussing. Issues like gun violence. Why, why are we wasting this committee's time, the United States Oversight Committee's time, for the second time, on just Washington, D.C., just the district. No other state, no other issue. And why again are we talking about crime when we're not talking about gun violence? I just came from a hearing on fentanyl, and I had to listen to parents testify and talk about how they're losing their kids to fentanyl. Serious issue. I support the chairman of that committee's bill. The data is clear on fentanyl, but you know what else? The data is clear on gun violence. The numbers don't lie, and yet we're ignoring it. I know you got stuff going on. You're trying to find, you know, the fake informant that you've now has gone missing. I know you're busy with that, you know. But I'm hoping that perhaps the oversight committee, if they're so worried about, you know, federal overreach, perhaps they can start, you know, being focused on real government oversight. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Gentleman yields back before I recognize uh, Ms. Bobert. With respect to the missing informant, uh, just so you know, just to clarify, the, the Grassley whistleblower is alive and well. 
Chair recognized Ms. Boberts. And when that subject does overlap into a conversation on crime, then let's have a real one. Yes, involving the areas in the United States that have the highest crime rate. No, not New York. No, not LA. But the red states that shall not be named. We've got to talk about these root causes. Number one, the fact that we have elected legislators that won't do their job and protect people by keeping these weapons off the streets. That's number one. Number two, we are still reeling from a financial crisis. And guess what? They don't want to make it better. I'm sure they all campaigned and said, oh, we're going to help out the economy post COVID. But right now we are on a cliff over the debt ceiling, mm -hmm. the debt ceiling that was raised three times under Trump and 25 percent of this credit card bill that they don't want to pay was accrued under Trump. And he only had one term and hopefully he won't have no more. Mm. Nevertheless, I digress. Let me move on. So let's also talk about the fact that uh, just recently, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, we received reports that there is a staff member who's working for a Republican on this committee who has ties with and supports a white nationalist who has proclaimed himself to be just like Hitler. I don't really know what to say, except for the fact that this is a farce, all right? Because the fact is, we've got an increase in crime all over. If we really wanna be real about it, let's talk about it. We're talking about DC right now, but the murder rates in red states, like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, have statistically exceeded those in blue states, like Illinois, New Mexico, and Michigan, every year since 2000. The best part of waking up, MAGA tears in my cup. Check out the new MAGA tears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.